in Greenland did not halt the Viking momentum. There was no end of land to discover. Bajani Hojjostan, another Icelander blown past his destination, sighted a flat shoreline covered with woods far to the west. Land, starboard side. What should we do, Hojjostan? Maintain course, not land. Hojjostan was carrying merchandise and did not stop. So the weight of history fell on Eric the Red Sun, Leif the Lucky. Backtracking Bajani's voyage about 1000, Leif led the first Europeans to set foot on this new land. Two short, colorful, and important fantasy sagas. The Saga of the Greenlanders and the Saga of Eric the Red outline the grand adventures of the clan, but they have long teased historians with vague directions and conjectory details. They relate that Leif wintered in a place he called Vinland, where he found grapes, salmon streams, and pastures, then returned to Greenland in the spring. No one really knows how to match the saga details to today's geography, but the tale suggests that Vinland must have been around the Gulf of St. Lawrence, then the northern limit of wild grapes and the southern limit of Atlantic salmon. Leif did not stay long. Indians, whom the Norse called Skraelings, attacked and sent Leif and his crew back to Greenland. See you later, Leaf. But leave us alone. Leaf's brother, Thorvald, excited by the stories, launched his own journey years later. He was the first European to get killed by the Skraelians, shot with an arrow. Thorvald's last words, We have won a fine and fruitful country, but will hardly be allowed to enjoy. 